Satellites are important for navigation nowadays, but can we trust them? Let's take a closer look at that. First of all, I want to thank all my patrons, members, donors and subscribers. All of you are important for me. Thank you very much. Okay, what is GPS jamming and what is GPS spoofing? Let's start with jamming. Jamming signals is quite common in military use. It can be to block radar, radio or GPS signals. And spoofing is another version. It's sending out uh, fake GPS signals to confuse the GPS receiver and to get it show the wrong location. This is a small part of what's called electronic warfare. But do it have an effect on you as a civilian person? This type of uh, things could be used for instance to revenge on the countries helping Ukraine for the moment, disturbing, uh, for instance, uh, mobile phone systems, uh, and so on. It's a lot of variants where you can use electronic warfare. One example at the moment is the aviation industry that have problems close to Ukraine because Russia is disturbing the GPS system in that area. I don't know if the shipping industry have a problem. It could be in the Black Sea, for instance. Every sensible person knows that the GPS signals comes from satellites orbiting the Earth. It's not balloons, buoys and antennas as flat earthers think. The satellites are sending out signals on those three frequencies you see in the bottom of the screen. And you have several ways of interrupt them. You can send signals on those frequencies so that the real GPS signals can't be picked up by GPS receivers. Another version is to send false uh, signals from antennas or you can send it from satellites too that confuses the GPS uh, receivers because GPS receivers is getting its position from receiving signals from several satellites. So if you're st sending fake signals it get confusing for the receiver to calculate its correct location. But there are also contrameasure technique, but this is an ongoing fight. Be able to jam and be able to protect against jamming. In military use, you will find a lot of techniques uh, in this category. Uh, like radar re uh, jamming and the protection against radar jamming uh, on, on uh, uh, fighter jets. You can find a system that confuses radar, that it looks like the airplane is not in the uh, uh, location that it really is. It 
if you uh, simplify it, moves the plane for the enemy's radar and so on. So this is a lot of things going on in these areas. And the simple technique is to locate enemies using their mobile phone uh, signals. Uh, it's known to be used in Ukraine to locate, for instance, some uh, UK volunteers uh, when they were attacking a military base close to Poland. These different techniques are the reason why it's so important for a military ship to be able to navigate without modern equipment. Our radar can have been blocked, GPS can be out of uh, function and so on. So we have to be able to navigate in the old ways. So that's why we can use sixtens, we are using ordinary compasses and so on and we always have charts on paper. I hope you find this video uh, interesting. We'll be back tomorrow with a new one and later this week with a live broadcast again. And once again, thank you all for helping me helping Ukraine. If you're not, become a member and support the channel or just come back next time I'm showing a video. Have a nice day all. Bye.